This video is a MinSwap DEX tutorial, which is currently the most popular DEX on Cardano. We're gonna go through setting up your wallet on here so that we can swap tokens uh, and how to actually do that, plus adding liquidity as well, which a lot of people may want to do. Adding liquidity gets you some trading fees and some passive income, and you can actually farm rewards as well. So I'll go through all of those different sections of the app. I'll leave timestamps for everything down in the description below. Firstly, we can come to minswap.org, which is the official site. So make sure you don't go to a fake one. You can see some stats right here but we just want to go to launch application which should take us through to this page this is an overview page so if you scroll down you can see all of the different pools so obviously you need one token to swap into another so if you have a token that you want to swap into just search for it right here if you press enter you can see all of the pools for that token so you can choose which token you want to swap into the other for right now as of making this video all pools are against cardano ada being the native token or coin. Um, there aren't any stable coin tokens as yet, but I'm sure they're coming in the future. Now what we wanna do from here is connect a wallet. If you don't have a wallet yet, I'll leave some links in the description to installing NAMI wallet and how that works. All wallets are basically the same. You just need to go to your browser store um, and download the wallet as you can see here. So go to the official website or store and then just install it. There's a few more steps if you are a beginner. I'll leave that video down in the description to explain that. But what we can do now is just click the wallet that we have and you can see it's connected right here. It shows me how much ADA I have as well. Now, if you don't have ADA in that wallet, what you can do is just get that wallet up and there should be a receive button so you can get some ADA or other tokens into your wallet. Just press receive here, it will show you your wallet address. And then from there, you can just go to your centralized exchange, whatever that may be. I'll use Binance here as an example. So obviously get some ADA. I would suggest getting ADA. It's easier to transfer in from centralized exchanges. Other tokens are gonna to be very difficult um, and probably not supported for the most part right now. But get your address in here and then choose the network. You want that to be Cardano ADA network and that will go through to whatever wallet that you're using. So you can see I've got some ADA right here. I'll leave some links in the description as well to Binance who give deposit bonuses if you're new and some other exchanges that I use. So check them out if you're interested. Once we have tokens in our wallet, we can actually go ahead and trade them straight away, which is a really simple process, just like any other DEX. So we'll go to trade right here and then we can search for the currency pair that we actually want to trade. I really like the layout here because you can actually see a chart and the price over time. So I'm gonna go for market order and then I'm gonna choose ADA because that's the balance that I have. And I wanna swap this into a specific token which I can search for. So I'm just gonna search for min swap right here and press that. So what we can do is choose the amount of ADA that we want to swap into min or the amount of min that we want, whatever way you, around that you wanna do it. So let's say I wanna choose 50 ADA and it immediately tells me the price that I'm gonna get for my min. Now, because this is a market order, we don't choose the price that the swap occurs at. The system essentially says, if you wanna swap 50 ADA, then the current price is you know, around 27, I think, something like that, um, to get the estimated amount of min. So it tells me what the price is, and I can either accept it now or just not swap. Now down here, you can see the minimum amount received. So for this order of 50 ADA, I'm gonna get around 1,354 min tokens. That's the minimum I'll receive. You can see it expects me to get around 1,360, but 1,354 is the minimum. The reason being is, is that there's a slippage tolerance, as you can see. Now that's the difference between the quote that you get when you put in the 50 ADA and the actual price that happens when the trade executes on the blockchain. There is a little bit of a time delay there. And so dependent on other orders and everything like that, you know, the price might change a little bit, but half a percent is absolutely normal for a DEX, uh, especially with more liquid pairs, might go up to 1% or something. The price impact, if you have a very small price impact, then you won't be changing the price and your slippage should be very low. The larger your order, it might have a higher slippage and a higher um, impact on the price. You can see we have to pay 0.15 ADA as a fee and we have to pay two ADA as a batcher fee. So we'll get that. Fee paid for the service of off-chain laminar batcher to process transactions and there's a deposit. The amount of ADA will be held as a minimum UTXO. ADA will be returned when your orders are protest processed or canceled. So that two ADA will come back to you for the deposit. So that's the all the costs of the swap. Now you can just very easily now just click on swap, check all of this, make sure that you're okay with it and confirm swap. You might need to go through to your NAMI or other wallet and just confirm the transaction. So I'm gonna press sign right here and then put in my password, just confirm that. 
and then that will go through when it is ready. So transaction is successful. You might have to wait a little bit before that actually clears and the other tokens will now be obviously sent to your same wallet. While we're waiting for those tokens to get into our wallet, we can choose a limit order as well. Now a limit order is when you control the price that you pay. So we'll just go over to this. And now we can see a limit price right here. So I'm just gonna choose the same amount of ADA, 50 ADA, and you can see the estimate is around about the same in terms of the amount of min that we get. And yeah, like, like I said before, the limit price or the price of exchange here is around 27 min per one ADA. Well, what if I want more min for my ADA? That would be really good for me. I can put in a limit order so what I can do is say, I want, I want more min for my ADA. So maybe you want 30 min for your ADA instead of 22 or 27 or something. Now this is a better price than you can actually get in the market right now. And so no one's gonna trade with you because you know you, you, they're not gonna give you a better price, but you can put that order in as a limit and say, hey, if the price changes in the next few days and it does get up to this level, then I will actually uh, exchange that. So as you can see down here, you have all of the same stuff and you can place the order, but this order will not go through unless the actual market price matches your price. So you can put this order in as a limit and say, I'm out here looking to buy some min, but I'm looking for a better price. And if the price eventually moves there, then you'll trade. If it never moves there, you'll never trade. And so it's up to you whether you wanna choose a limit order or you just wanna go for a market and get the trade done straight away. Now, if you are waiting for your trade to go through and it's queuing, you should see an orders tab come up on MinSwap as well. You can see this right here, orders, and I've got one order in the system. So it's telling me which swaps that I've got. And you can see the amount of ADA that I wanted to swap right here. If you have a lot in here, that'll all be listed, but you can see the trade details right here and when it was created. Now you can cancel that order if you want, if you're in time, uh, and obviously the deposit will come back, but you might have to still pay the batch of fees and everything. So just watch for that. Um, but that will be queuing right here and eventually when the queue is finished, uh, then that will go through for you and it will be essentially not in your orders anymore. You can also provide liquidity on MinSwap, which is where you have two tokens yourself that you want to earn trading fees from. Just like every other DEX, you can supply two tokens and put them into a pool. And then if other people trade them and pay exchange fees, you will get some of those fees as a liquidity provider. This is a way of earning passive income. There's a few things to think about here, so I'll go through some of the pros and cons here. My order has actually gone through. I can check that up here. You can see the min swap tokens are now in my wallet. And so I have ADA and min, and I can provide both of these as liquidity on the DEX and earn some of other the other people's trading fees. Um, so what we'll do is go through that now. Now you can come to liquidity and pool and you can see all of the different pools right here that you can add to. Ada Min is the most popular, uh, obviously being the min swap DEX. So you can see the price between them, uh, the exchange price and the total LPs. This is the size of the market right here. LPs is liquidity providers. The trading fee APR is 0.24%. It's pretty low to be honest, right? So the trading fee that you're gonna be getting from other people is around 0.24. So it's pretty low, but there's also some incentives that bulk this up as a, as a yield as well. Um, so what we can do is press swap here. We've already swapped those, but we wanna go to add liquidity. Now there's also something called Zap as well, which I'll show you how to use, which is a lot easier if you you just have one token and you want to add liquidity you don't have to worry about getting them in the right uh, order or anything so we'll just do add liquidity first now we come over to the uh, the liquidity tab and that's this one here now what we want to do is provide two tokens as liquidity and um, so what we can do is we have a balance of uh, ada and min so i'm just going to choose an amount of ada that i want to actually put in so let's say max right here now it's going to work out exactly how much min i have to put in in order to max out this pair because it's a pair you need to put the tokens in in the correct ratio so whatever the ratio is of them in the pool that dictates dictates the foreign exchange um, amount from one to the other and so you can actually just let the decks do this and don't have to work it out so let's say i want to put in uh, 50 ada I know that the amount of min I have to put in is this much. That's the exchange rate between the coins. Um, so you can do that and you can see you get a very small percentage of the pool. You have to pay a batch of fee here and you get these things called LP tokens. These are essentially a receipt to say that you have put in liquidity into this pool and a specific amount of liquidity. If you wanna take those tokens back out, this LP token is a receipt to essentially say to the pool, hey, I've got some tokens in here. You now know how much to give me back if you wanna withdraw them from the pool. So you can do that and you can work out the difference between them 
or you can just very easily press zap. Now zap is going to work out the exact amount of each token that you could you can put in. So if you have 30 ADA, and as you can see, I can add liquidity here because I now have enough min swap to actually go ahead with this trade. But if I put 50, I don't have enough min swap, right? Because I don't have enough min swap in my wallet. And so how do I actually get those min swap? Well, you have to go back and trade them, which is obviously difficult because you don't know exactly how many min you're gonna get. So if you just press zap right here, what that's going to do is work out exactly how much um, you need for each token and it's going to go through with a transaction for you. So all you have to do is spend an amount of ADA that you want and it's going to work out how much of that ADA that it has to use to buy min tokens and then you have the exact same amount in uh, in the pool. So if you just press zap right here, you can see zap is an easy way to provide liquidity when you only have one token of the pair. Please note zap might cause small amounts of slippage. So yeah, you have to go through that transaction, right? So if you've got a really small difference, um, then you're going to have to pay the batch of fee, the two ADA, right? And so it may be a little bit of a slippage if you've got small amounts. So just to keep that in mind, go, I'm good right here. So you can choose, you can either work it out yourself how much of each token that you can put in, or if you have enough of each, you can work that out. Or if you just have ADA and you don't have min, just press zap. And what it's gonna do is swap some of that ADA into min, and then it's gonna put ADA and min into the liquidity pool so that you start earning fees. I've just gone through with a transaction here, putting ADA into the min swap token and putting it in the pool. I just pressed add liquidity. You can see that trade has now gone through, which is complete. So ADA min into the pool, that went through very quickly. And now if you go back to liquidity and then your liquidity, you should see this here. So what we've done is added both ADA and MIN into the pool, and we have these LP tokens to this number. You can see how much of the pool that you have. Now, if you wanna remove that liquidity, you can just press remove here. You'll have to go through with a transaction. What will happen now is that you'll swap the LP token in for the exact amount of ADA and MIN that are in the pool at the current time when you take it out, uh, and you can add more liquidity if you want as well. Something that's really important when adding liquidity on DEXs is something called impermanent loss. I can't go through it in too much depth in this video. I'll leave a link to a video down in the description that goes through what, what liquidity pools are. But just to very quickly uh, kind of show you why this is important, uh, impermanent loss is something that happens when you add two tokens into a pool like we've just done here with ADA and MINT. So you might see a very large uh, yield that you can get from doing this, but impermanent loss takes away from this yield. Um, so what you have to do is understand how much you're earning from trading fees and yield farming, and then you have to minus off the impermanent loss that you would get, and that is your total profit or loss. As you can see with impermanent loss, if you put the tokens into the pool at a specific ratio, if the ratio between them changes, meaning that if the price between them changes, then you'll suffer this impermanent loss depending on how much that price movement is. The more the price movement, the more the impermanent loss and the higher yield that you need to get in order to be profitable. Now, if you're using risk assets, two risk assets that have no real correlation to each other, we have to expect that the price movement between them over a certain period of time is gonna be quite high. That is why I would suggest, and what I do for my own account is, I never really provide liquidity in risk assets like this. Um, it doesn't matter where it is on any chain because impermanent loss is usually very high because volatility in crypto is very high. And so I don't usually add liquidity to risk assets. I will add liquidity in assets that are very similar in price and that don't change that much. For example, stable coins, two different stable coins have a dollar, they won't move too much. So that is how I do it. But this is just to show you. Now, if you want to know more about impermanent loss, links in the description to videos that explain it much more in depth. Now, like I said before, the trading fees for the ADA min pair are very low, but we need to boost our yield that we can get. And that's what happens in the farm section of the app. Just like every other DEX, you get farming rewards for using the DEX. And they have like a tier system. So you'll get these different uh, different cats right so you get lion you get tiger i think and then you get mouse at the bottom lion obviously the biggest so ada min pair is the biggest we have some of those lp tokens so what you can see is that they boost the apr that you're getting for providing liquidity up to 37 percent so this is definitely something if you are providing liquidity must take advantage of these yield farming rewards easy way to do it is just to go down uh, and then look at the pair that you want to add 
the yield farming too, just press stake right here. And you'll see that I have those LP tokens because I added liquidity. You can choose any amount that you want to stake and just press stake. That's it. And you'll go through with another transaction in your wallet pay a small fee there for the blockchain, and then you get this higher APR. So that's swapping and providing liquidity on MinSwap Dex. If you want those extra helpful guides linked in the description and the deposit bonuses on Binance and the other exchanges I use are linked down there as well. I'm James with Money ZG. Cheers for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.